Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down RHI exam preparation, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set, UHDDS, in healthcare. 1. What is the Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set, UHDDS? Let's start with the basics what exactly is the Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set, or UHDDS? The UHDDS is a standardized set of data elements used to collect essential information on all hospital discharges in the United States. This data set is required for Medicare and Medicaid reporting, and it includes critical information such as the patient's demographics, diagnoses, procedures, and discharge status. The primary purpose of the UHDDS is to ensure uniformity in data reporting and to facilitate the analysis of hospital discharge data for reimbursement, quality monitoring, and research purposes. The UHDDS plays a vital role in the Inpatient Prospective Payment System, IPPS, and other healthcare quality improvement initiatives. 2. Key Components of the Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set, UHDDS the UHDDS includes a core set of data elements that provide a comprehensive view of a patient's hospital stay. Let's break down the key components of the UHDDS. 1. Patient Demographics This section includes essential information about the patient, such as their age, gender, race, ethnicity, and place of residence. Collecting demographic data helps in analyzing healthcare disparities and understanding how different populations utilize hospital services. 2. Principal Diagnosis The principal diagnosis is the condition that was chiefly responsible for the patient's hospital admission. This diagnosis plays a key role in determining the reimbursement under the IPPS, as it is used to assign the appropriate diagnosis-related group, DRG. 3. Other diagnoses, in addition to the principal diagnosis, UHDDS captures up to 24 secondary diagnoses, including complications and comorbidities. These secondary diagnoses are important for understanding the full scope of the patient's health status and can also affect reimbursement. 4. Procedures and Dates UHDDS includes information on the procedures performed during the hospital stay, along with the dates on which they were performed. This helps in assessing the level of care provided and also impacts the DRG assignment for reimbursement purposes. 5. Discharge Status The discharge status field indicates the patient's condition at discharge, such as whether they were discharged home, transferred to another facility, or expired. This information is crucial for understanding patient outcomes and coordinating post-hospital care. 6. Patient Identifier and Admission Date The UHDDS also includes a unique patient identifier and the date of admission. These details are essential for tracking individual patient records across different care settings and for calculating the length of stay, which can influence reimbursement. 7. Expected Source of Payment The expected source of payment provides information on the payer, such as Medicare, Medicaid, private insurance, or self-pay. This data helps analyze healthcare funding sources and can inform decisions related to policy and reimbursement. 3. The Importance of UHDDS in Healthcare The UHDDS is a critical tool for ensuring accurate and consistent reporting of hospital discharge data. Let's explore why the UHDDS is so important for healthcare organizations and the overall healthcare system. 1. Facilitating Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement The UHDDS is the foundation for determining hospital reimbursement under Medicare and Medicaid programs. By standardizing the way diagnoses and procedures are reported, the UHDDS ensures that hospitals are reimbursed accurately for the services they provide. 2. Supporting Quality Improvement The data collected through the UHDDS is used to monitor healthcare quality and outcomes. For example, information on complications, comorbidities, and discharge status can be analyzed to identify trends in patient outcomes and areas for improvement in hospital care. 3. Enabling comparative analysis Since the UHDDS provides a standardized data set across hospitals, 
It allows for meaningful comparisons of healthcare performance across different institutions, regions, and patient populations. This helps policymakers, researchers, and healthcare administrators make data-driven decisions. 4. Contributing to public health research, the data collected through the UHDDS is invaluable for public health research. It provides insights into disease prevalence, treatment patterns, and patient outcomes, all of which contribute to the development of evidence-based healthcare policies. 5. Ensuring compliance with regulations, hospitals are required to report UHDDS data for all Medicare and Medicaid discharges. Failing to comply with these reporting requirements can result in financial penalties and other regulatory issues. Accurate UHDDS reporting helps hospitals maintain compliance with federal regulations. 4. Challenges in Collecting and Reporting UHDDS Data While the UHDDS is essential for data standardization and reimbursement, there are several challenges associated with collecting and reporting UHDDS data. Let's take a look at some of the common issues faced by healthcare organizations. 1. Accurate Coding and Documentation one of the biggest challenges in UHDDS reporting is ensuring the accuracy of coding and documentation. Clinical staff must document diagnoses and procedures clearly, and coders must assign the correct ICD-10 codes for both principal and secondary diagnoses. Inaccurate coding can lead to incorrect reimbursement and potential compliance issues. 2. Data Completeness Incomplete data can significantly impact the quality of UHDDS reporting. Missing information, such as undocumented diagnoses or procedures, can lead to inaccurate DRG assignments and affect reimbursement. Hospitals must have protocols in place to ensure that all relevant data is captured. 3. Staff Training and Education Accurate UHDDS reporting requires that clinical and coding staff understand the importance of documentation and coding standards. Ongoing training and education are essential for ensuring that staff stay updated on the latest coding guidelines and reporting requirements. 4. Technological integration. Many hospitals rely on electronic health record EHR systems to collect and report UHDDS data. However, Integrating these systems with billing and coding software can be complex, and issues with interoperability can lead to gaps in data collection. Ensuring seamless integration between systems is key to efficient UHDDS reporting. 5. Compliance with changing regulations. As healthcare regulations evolve, hospitals must stay up to date with changes in UHDDS reporting requirements. This includes keeping track of updates to ICD-10 coding standards, new DRG assignments, and any modifications to Medicare or Medicaid policies. 5. Best Practices for Accurate UHDDS Reporting To ensure accurate and compliant UHDDS reporting, healthcare organizations can adopt several best practices. Let's explore some strategies for improving UHDDS data collection and reporting. 1. Invest in staff training. Providing ongoing training for clinical staff, coders, and billing personnel is essential for maintaining the accuracy of UHDDS reporting. Training should focus on ICD-10 coding guidelines, documentation requirements, and the importance of capturing all relevant data for reimbursement. 2. Implement comprehensive documentation policies. Clear and consistent documentation policies ensure that all diagnoses and procedures are recorded accurately. Clinical staff should be trained on the importance of thorough documentation, and quality checks should be performed regularly to ensure completeness. 3. Utilize technology to streamline data collection. Using EHR systems that are integrated with coding and billing software can improve the accuracy and efficiency of UHDDS reporting. Automating data collection wherever possible can reduce the risk of errors and ensure that all relevant information is captured in the patient record. 4. Conduct regular audits. Performing regular audits of UHDDS data helps identify and correct errors before they affect reimbursement or compliance. Audits should focus on ensuring that all relevant data elements are included in the report and that the coding aligns with the clinical documentation. 5. Stay updated with regulatory changes. 
healthcare organizations must stay informed about changes to UHDDS reporting requirements and updates to coding standards. Regularly reviewing updates from CMS and other regulatory bodies ensures that hospitals remain compliant with the latest guidelines. 6. The Future of UHDDS and Data Reporting in Healthcare As healthcare continues to evolve, the role of standardized data sets like UHDDS will remain crucial. Let's take a look at some of the trends shaping the future of UHDDS and data reporting in healthcare. 1. Expansion of value-based care reporting. As value-based care models continue to grow, the UHDDS may evolve to include more measures related to quality and patient outcomes. These data points will help hospitals demonstrate the value of the care they provide and ensure fair reimbursement under new payment models. 2. Increased focus on social determinants of health. Future updates to the UHDDS may include data elements related to social determinants of health, such as housing stability, access to transportation, and food insecurity. Collecting this data can help hospitals better understand the broader factors impacting patient health and develop targeted interventions. 3. Advanced Data Analytics and AI Integration As healthcare organizations increasingly rely on advanced data analytics and artificial intelligence, UHDDS data may be used to develop predictive models for patient outcomes, identify trends in hospital performance, and optimize resource allocation. 4. Interoperability with other health data systems As healthcare systems become more integrated, UHDDS reporting will need to align with other health data standards and reporting systems. This increased interoperability will allow for more comprehensive data sharing across care settings, leading to better coordination of care and improved outcomes. Conclusion In conclusion, the Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set, UHDDS, is a vital tool for ensuring standardized reporting, supporting reimbursement, and improving healthcare quality. By following best practices for data collection and staying compliant with regulatory requirements, healthcare organizations can ensure accurate UHDDS reporting and contribute to better patient outcomes.